Uh, I've been cutting hair like I said since I was about 13. My mom used to jack my hair up and uh, when all my friends were having fades and bowl haircuts, my mother was still giving me a shag or the cellophane. Who knows what the cellophane is? Oh, yeah. You got to be OG. You got to be 74 and older. You know what I mean? Say, cellophane was a temporary hair color that, I mean, I'm sure there's different temp colors now, but I don't know what the thing with this color. It was, it was just as bad as the Jerry Curl. Remember when the Jerry Curl used to turn people hair orange and stuff? Y'all don't remember Jerry Curl either, huh? Good Lord, I am old <laughs> as hell. I'm there with you. You remember? Okay, thank you. Can I get an amen on the Jerry Curl? You go. You remember the Jerry Curl? No. Oh my God! You gold <laughs> perm. You gold perm. Gold, gold wave. J no. Yes, some somewhat. Uh, something like a golden wave. A right. tight, tight. Right, right, right. Curl. You know, you know. Come on in. As I'm assessing, did we have a hard part? Did you put that part in there? No. That's a, he's got a great natural part, mm -hmm. right? Looks like somebody shaved that in. However, what I do notice is that he has a growth pattern change right here too. So you have to be mindful of that when you're cutting that. So the name of this class is becoming familiar with clippers. I'm comfortable with clippers, right? Everybody's uh everybody likes shears. Yeah. Who who prefers a shear cut over a, a clipper cut? Anybody? I know every Cosmo in here <laughs> prefers a pair of shears over a pair of clippers, right? Okay. So that being said, I have a huge respect for stylists in, in, in their sheer game and what they do with, uh, with their work. So what we're going to take this class and we're going to do today is hopefully take some of that fear out of what you guys already have, you know, from you guys know how to use these. Mm -hmm. So now we want to turn you in to master the using these. All right, so I use Mizutani shears. Anybody familiar with Mizutani? I, I, I love the brand. I jump around a lot. I want to make sure in the hour we go ask you guys this. Wet and dry cutting. Does it make a difference? No. It yes. does and it doesn't. It does and it doesn't. If it's wet, it will stretch. You have to be mindful of what the hair does. Stretching, bending when it's wet. When it's dry, it's, gonna, it's not going to compromise. But when it's wet, you have to be mindful of elasticity. You have to be mindful of where the hair wants to truly lay because when it's dry it's going to show you where it really wants to lay right but when it's wet you can mask it you've seen people cut hair in the shop and they get oh sit on my wet next thing you know you see that dude come back like oh man was too much <laughs> so that being said when you cut wet hair make sure we know the word porosity right mm -hmm. we all know that even mm -hmm. porosity right mm -hmm. we want to make sure if you start we'll start spraying Sexy sprays, my, I don't have no towel, so I'm not going to demonstrate what a non-sexy spray is. A non-sexy spray is shooting it right in the face, right. and it's water dripping, and it's not cool, it's not comfortable, right? No. So we want to always, just some way, dampen our client, move around a little bit. Now I can see, with the water, the water adds weight, right? So now we know when the water adds weight, we can see the hair gravity pulling the hair down but at the same time you see his hair is a split right here I'm gonna take my comb I'm gonna take my spray bottle I'm angling it back like so and I'm coming that way what I'm doing again is just assessing his hair I want to get to know his hair basically especially my first time ever cutting his hair I want to know what I'm working with what he what growth pattern changes he has um, any abrasions moles anything that's going to make my job surprisingly difficult Again, like I said, I'm starting at the top. So you wonder, like, what is he doing? That's going to stop me from getting any hard lines in there that I got to blend out. So now we know that. That's clipper. I mean, oh, I want to cut the hair as soon yeah. as it gets to the lowest part of this comb. Then, cut. then I cut. Again, at an angle and at an angle out if I need to. Okay, okay. I got you. All right, so that's just that part. You see already, we've already got that growth pattern change where we had right. issues right there. You knocked that out. Right. Now, again, without confusing you too much, I'm going to go back to the standard style of cutting that we normally do, which is establishing guidelines, right? Because I, right. I don't want to confuse you guys. You like this way, though? Yes, yeah. I like this way. Uh, because we don't go too up. 
when as soon as you clean up at the bottom? We start yeah. right at it. We look at its natural part. We go up. Yeah. We take it right around the parietal. We keep it mind, keep mindful of its occipital. The only trouble you might have is oh, back fly. here with his lower, his upper neck, and right here between the upper neck and his occipital. He has somewhat of a, I won't say an issue, but it's 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 strong back here. <laughs> Strong, uh, strong yeah, back here. You know, <laughs> meaty neck is what we have, okay? So we want to make sure word. you want to make sure that we don't accentuate that. We don't okay. want to draw attention to that. Okay. All right, so now let's go back. Let's, let's start back. So this was a number one and a quarter blade. I'm going to do the majority of my clipper cutting with my Super 120 because it's an adjustable clipper, just like your senior or your master. All right, so I'm going to start low. Again, like I said, I just don't want to confuse you guys. That method is, is, is truly an advanced technique and you will want to make sure because you can, you can cause yourself a bunch of damage. So now I'm going to start low. Clipper is closed for our position. I'm going to start low, as low as I can right here. Oh, thank you. Back to zero. This is a four eye. Um, so zero, four zeros. Again, white comb, darker hair. Mm -hmm. Yep. Light comb. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now got my comb, got my clipper comb. Simple. The motion to be like this. Uh -huh. When I'm using my comb, I want to make sure my comb isn't flat like this. I want to angle it. You I want to get myself it. angles. Angle. I want to get myself angles. Why 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 would I want to do that, Yoko? You know? Blending diagonal back. It, it makes it easier to blend out because yeah. if I'm making hard lines, again yeah. I gotta blend those lines yeah. out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here. And again, same technique, however, I'm able to speed up a little bit. But again, you want them when they're lifting up, right? Mm -hmm. It's just kind of... It's just feathering out. I'm so blending it, and I'm lifting it as I come no, in, sorry. and I'm going around. This is the only clipper that goes to this length. Most go from a one to a three eye. This is an extra, gives you like an extra notch of clipper cutting. Uh, also, so now, when I, going back to what I was saying, when I get under a one, I always go back to a brush to remove hair. The comb, sometimes it gets a little bit, uh, you can't move all the hair that you want to. Oh, so, so you put water on your... No, 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 no water on the brush. Oh, because I see some moisture right there. I think he's sweating. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Nervous. <laughs> he's sweating a little bit. So when, if the oh yeah, I did just oh, spray, yeah, I did just spray some water on it too. Right. I'm so, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a listening. Question. <laughs> if at this point, if client's skin starting like a kind of like a redness stuff like that, how should I do? Should, should you I pray, stop? Well, let's just say I'm not. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm hoping that you're not pressing too hard. Okay, I'm doing But it too might hard. be. It might be a little bit pressing too hard. If now, if we were to ask the gentleman in the chair now, how is the pressure, sir? Good. Soft. Yeah, you you, you okay, want to be as, as soft as possible. But again, this isn't as close as I'm going to get because I'm going to even get closer to this. I'm going to use my trimmer and I'm going to get even closer. You notice all the clippers I'm using today are my detachable. Cordless. All my cordless clippers. I was going to talk to you a little bit about these clippers because sometimes, you know, we have them and stylists wonder, like, well, they're so heavy. I don't like them. I'm going to give you a trick if you haven't already used it. Something Wrap it around your hand. It, right. takes, it takes the weight. It takes the weight right it's off the clipper. Oh, it takes the weight off. Huh? It takes the yeah. weight right off the clipper, even if you, okay. oh, you know, it's just, it takes the weight off the clipper. So next time you pull out this tool, or even your senior, any other tool that you just, you want to get, you don't really like the weight, just go ahead and wrap that clipper, around, wrap, wrap the cord around your hand. But a lot of these, a lot of these techniques are just, we just practice. I call it popping willies. You know, people we use C cut motion. But the Papa Willie is a little bit, students, they, they gravitate toward that a little bit more. When I say Papa Willie, I mean just this. I'm here and I pop my Willie. Freehanded? Yeah, so I can freehand it. The trick of freehanding, the trick of freehanding is just slowing down. Just slowing down. Yeah. Stretch the skin. I'm in the air a little bit more. Which when I get to the other side, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Even with the fine tooth of this and this comb, well, me combing through this other side with his hair and the, the combination of product, um, the water that I use, um, his hair is going to stick regardless. So even when I'm trying to move this very, very finely thin comb, it's not going to it's not going to move the hair that I want. So I switch to my brush, check in with my client. How you doing? Great, great. 
keeping the fade low around the ears. But at the same time, this here is closed. Yeah. And this line right up here, up in the here is open. Oh, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, so scary. I've been cutting a, a, a head and who's been cutting a while? Who's clipper cutting a while at all? Okay, that's what I know I'm talking about. So you guys know. You ever been cutting with say a master and it just it clogs up on you? You're like wondering why? Do you know why it does that? Okay. This portion of the clipper mm. is the weakest part of the clipper. Mm. Okay, first of all, masters, they aren't the best at cutting wet hair. Mm. All right. However, they're great for cutting wet precision hair. When you're cutting wet hair at a three eye position with a master, oh, it's going off. It's, you're, knocking, you're knocking the hair off. But with a one, you might find it starts getting clogged up somewhat. The reason being, because again, this the middle portion of this mm -hmm. blade is the weakest portion. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to get clogged up. So you'll notice a lot of my clipper cutting is all on the side, angling. Another reason why I do that is because the head is curved. We don't have straight heads, so if I put a head, if I put my head straight on here, if I put that right there, only the center gets cut. Exactly. You see that the sides are exposed. It's a round head. Mm -hmm. So that's why I do like that. Oh. All right. Just put. Just moving around, same technique, just bring it all the way around, keeping the fade somewhat low, but very precise. What is good lighting for a barbershop? What is good lighting? Mm -hmm. Man. It'll be directly over there, but it'll be higher up. You know what? Lights everywhere. <laughs> I'm building my studio right now, bro. And honestly, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got lead lights along the walls. I got a shop light hanging down, maybe two feet ahead uh, 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 over my head. And then I'm now I'm like, okay, I need another shop light because I got one dark spot in my shop. Also, I'm thinking about putting lights coming up. Uh, you understand okay. what I'm saying? Like, if uh, me, if I was a brilliant man, I make lights on a chair. You understand what I'm saying? I make the light, the chair light up. Ooh, I just gave somebody some game. If I said, I swear to God, I swear to God, if I see it out there, I'll be like, he's in my class! Yeah. Put lights on the chair? Yeah, put lights on the chair because it reflects up, definitely. And you could see the bald spots. White or yellow color. White or yellow. Daylight. 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 I prefer daylight bulbs. I definitely prefer the daylight bulbs. Okay. Yes. Flores. Not sure. Oh, that's the name of the light. Yeah, they, they like it. I'm looking at again our nice male area here, and I want to make sure that I don't accentuate it. So I'm not going to blend heavy into that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to blend off of that. You see what I'm saying? Blend right off of that. You're scared. I can't do this. I'm doing static. Also, just get in the habit. Just sit, sit, in, sit in the house and just taking your clutter like this. Whether it be you. I mean, I know it's going to look, it might look weird, you know, but, you know, we're talking money. You know what I'm saying? Sit there, tap your feet and Listen, you know, huh? dangle that wand. <laughs> yeah. You, what? Yeah, Hush. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get used to that battery being low and just in that motion. You'll get used to it. I told you, don't start me. Uh, this ain't Sunday either. We mess around a couple. Uh, this is a one and a one quarter. So I'm going to just freehand again. Like you said, freehanding is... Anybody know what the detachable blade system is? I'm going to yeah, show yeah. you guys right now for those that don't. These are detachable blades. Oh, my God. I want one of... Marcelo? You get on that one. I mean, I mean, even if I'm doing a mannequin demonstration and a mannequin, as long as I, I usually, I normally don't even What's use the it. Longest one? Three and three quarters. Three and three I usually don't even use it. Anything over a three, uh, over a two, I use a lot of clipper overcome. Um, but it's just good to have, especially if somebody comes in and they know what they want and, and they get a lot more hair through them. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, it's it's easier. This right here, mm -hmm. okay. you know what I'm saying. So yeah. you got to have a, a, a nice. Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> No. So now I'm just slightly going in. I got a higher blade. 
And again, this is where I start talking about those growth disparities, those little areas where you want to go ahead and you want to just use the side of your clipper instead of trying to take the whole entire clipper and clean up. The next thing I would do is I would go to my next blade, my next higher blade, and I will remove both at the higher area. Right there at the parietal in this crown. Oh, you hate this light. I'm turning it Oh, yeah. Now we can move. <laughs> Yeah, I was, you know, I couldn't do a lot. I was like, all right, if I take one gash out, it's my fault. Oh, there. Oh, you got it. kicked out now. Yeah, that, 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 that. Right. Yeah, now I can move. So you guys, like such, I have to be able to stretch, stretching is paramount. And I have to be able to move into those different areas like this. Now, I want you guys to pay attention. When I, when I stretch, I stretch and I let the hair fall. What is that? The hair falling, that's weight. The hair that falls wants to get cut. I know that. Oh, I see. Okay, but I might not need to cut all of that. Cut a little bit. Just so all that hair right there, yeah, if I cut that, what's going to happen? Yeah. He's going to have a ball fade. Yeah. All right, it's not, not going to be what he wants, so we don't cut that. We just we have to. That comes with practice, you know. That comes with you, know, you see that dark area there. Yeah. I'm going to use that. Ended. Use that corner. Body mechanics, very important, guys. You don't want to cut. You don't want to be over here trying to cut that. Mm -hmm. You want to stand in front of your work. You also want to give yourself enough room. Don't be hunched up over your work like this. Right, 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 right. You want to be hunched. You want to be somewhere like this. You want to give yourself enough body room to go ahead and see your work, see your project. Right. Another method I like to use is, is so S E W, shoulders, elbow, wrist. So if I'm using it as a stylist, sh shoulders, elbow, wrist is up here, right? right. As a barber, shoulder, elbow, wrist is here, or shoulder, shoulder, elbow, wrist is here. Yeah. But, you see what I'm saying, you always want to stay conscious of that because something's going to give out, whether it be your wrist, whether it be your shoulder, something's going to give out. Step back. Yeah, you don't want to get carpal tunnel. Use that. Go up to the next blade. Start. Now I moved up to my one and a half blade. And my one and a half blade, honestly, is probably one of my by far favorite blades because this blade goes through any texture and you can free, I freehand a great deal of stuff with this one and a half blade. One and a half is just, it's, it's a strong blade, it's precise in cutting, it allows you to fit enough hair, the hair gets through there really effortlessly and it's just a great blending tool. Um, I didn't bring the cards up, but at the booth we have a card, so I'll... Okay, stop. thank you. But actually, I'm using the ZR1s now. Have you seen the ZR1s by this? Mm -mm. It's a five-speed. It's a five-speed okay. cordless. And the good thing about that is it gives you the options of, you know, uh, different different clippers cut different ways. Uh, fast feeds, which people like by Auster. You heard of those clippers? Yeah, They're a beautiful right. clipper. They cut really good. Do um, blend. Yeah, and this try to figure out how they could be comparable with that. So they figured out if they could just slow the speeds down, they can cut exactly like those tools. And so now we have a five speed cordless that's a monster. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. So that's what I mean. When I want to get real precision, which I may do, I might go around here because he has product that'll allow me to do it. Right up in here, I might be able to go ahead and take my three out and just get real precise in the cutting. But normally, I'll use my comb of course and my number one because if you look at the comb and look at the teeth of the comb they almost match up so it's like like that it's just like a mesh so when I lift the hair it just feeds right into it and goes so that's why I use the number one with this all right angle again like we said earlier yeah and I have another one over at the, uh, at the station that's square I like this a little bit more because, you know, the angling. Yeah. 
You saw that comb or no? No. I don't even I couldn't even tell you where I got it from. When I I'm like a comb I'm like a comb whore. Whenever I find a good comb, I will not let go of it. Right, yeah, because it's Closing it slightly. Same thing. I'm basically point cutting. Like a yeah, point cut. Yeah, we could we could point cut. Oh, no. So just just so you get I mean I'm not gonna cut anything off the top, but I just want you to see like if I needed to do anything, mm -hmm. I want So point cutting. Mm -hmm. All it does is add height. Mm -hmm. So if he wants for for instance, if I wanted spiky. to just give him some height, not not spikes, not spikes per se, because you know he's not a spiky dude. Mm -hmm. What we would do is if we want to get that Johnny Bravo height, that real height, Ooh. what I'd want to do is I'd go in there and I'd cut maybe the texture. See. I'd cut, notch cut. Uh, 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 uh. It's going to push that short hair supports longer hair. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Push it. Mm -hmm. Super nice me. So you can point cut. You can do everything you do with shears. With your clippers. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's like my pleasure. Sage. My pleasure. Yeah, I'm at school. What school, school is that? Was Valley Occupational? Where is that? You should come soon because I'm. So now I'm taking my trimmer, and I'm getting all this clean here. You know, if you don't have access to the bump care, what you do is you just tell them. You know, hey. I want you to go, make sure you got, you know, you ask them. Another good thing is aloe vera. You guys get aloe, aloe vera plant? If you've got access to an aloe vera plant, I'm telling you, that's how you, that's, that's how you make money. Yeah, I have a scalp yeah. treatment for dry hair. When they have a labdendro, mm -hmm. like do it every other three days. And I'm like, oh my God, it works really well. For aloe vera? Aloe vera. See? On your scalp. Yes. And this chunkiness, and it's like jelly. You just yes. dissolve it into your skin. Okay. You won't go wrong with it. I, I have, I wait, I have yet to hear one person be like, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that wasn't cool. It I, feels fresh. It feels cool. beautiful, yes. And so it's other natural stuff you can use too. We know lemon. Lemon's a good one. Uh-huh. ¿Verdad? O con la yema del huevo. Ah, y también tomate. Stop it, stop it. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all just singing to me right now. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of buying food, she'll make you some horchata. 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 Dessert. You have some flan. I don't really do flan. I'm talking about another language here. So it is like um, como callejera routine, you know? Yeah. When you go to the fair, churros mexicanos. Churros, right. So. We got the little guy that come to the neighborhood with the, uh, with the, with the ice cream is my thing. I can hear him two blocks away. Oh, and hear him with that little, hear him with that little. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Eddie Murphy. Ice cream! <laughs> Vanilla! <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even say it. Vanilla! Vanilla. See, I can't say it. Like, I, I, that makes me so angry when there's English words that translate to Spanish that I can't say that I know I'm supposed to say right. Like, but this is the best part, huh? You know why my class, you probably think so. You got a personality, you make us laugh too. I mean, you know, you gotta laugh. I mean, you know what, the truth, is, the truth about this is, is that I know Carlos is an educator. I know Marcelo, right? I said that right? Marcelo hangs out with, with him, he's an educator. I know he's talented. I know he knows what he wants. I know, I know you all have different expertise. You're working on set. It's about me. It's about you walking out of here and being able to take something out of here and be able to benefit from it. Okay. Have you guys been able to do that? Have, have, have I given you a couple of tools that you can go ahead and go? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's that's all it's about. You know what I'm saying? Now, this isn't the Andes portion of my class because you would say, well, why is he doing that? I'm just meticulous like that. I want it. It's, th there's nothing like a sheer cut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clippers are beautiful. Clippers are, are they're, they're more efficient. They make, right. they, they make work way easier. Right. However, Fast. There's, there's nothing like a polish of a shear, especially a, 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 a well-crafted shear. So this is a Mizutani Acro that I'm using. And... Uh, yeah. I love shears. I use shears at school um, all the time. Yeah, yeah. But it's an investment. Yeah, exactly. That's an investment. I just, I can't flip them. You flip it, you get that way too easy. You go. <laughs> <laughs>
Say it again. She flipped it. 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 So easy. Oh my goodness. Japanese okay, this is thing. One, like, two. When we do it like this, so like we make kaka, we always palm it. Yeah, palm it. So. So I got something else for you. Go. <coughs> we flip it. Well, look. <laughs> yeah, we, so this we can't really talk Clifford, but it. this is a, it's got a blade in here, so. It's a Japanese way of flipping it. Yeah, that way. Goes away from the client's face. This is a Japanese straight razor. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I just got so it. Right. Instead of the um, layers doing it inside, over, inside. Yes. the layers going yes. under. Yeah, it like it gives height. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, you, okay. you, you, okay. Just the edges just. to blend. Mm -hmm. I love that technique. So how, I mean, at the salon, how long is that supposed to be done? Like a man's haircut? Oh, 20, 20 minutes. The, including it, it, 20, 20 to 45. Yeah. Give including yourself. But then, but then I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I never even done it before. So Very lightly. Those are cordless. Yeah, yeah they're cordless and corded. You can plug it up and work with it too. Oh, excellent. Yeah, open on, uh, yeah, this, this, this is awesome. Your, yeah. Look your, how clean it does it. Very clean. Man, you, yeah, I, just, I, just, I, I could see your energy. Bro. You remind me of like me when I was teaching. I just, it wasn't yeah, nothing. Push them, push them. Okay. Too hot, Marcel. <laughs>